Hey, what is going on, pros and prices? It's Kim Jane HS123, yeah, and welcome to another drinks review. Today is going to be on Boost Energy, and it's going to be on the original Sugar Free. So I got this particular drink out of here around the corner shop, and it cost me 99p. So I give you guys a full 360 of the bottle. So we have the fairly simple Boost logo and design with the uh, bluish whitish design. And we kind of just have like bubbles and you know stuff on the side. So fairly simple design, but to be honest, it does look fairly cool. Fairly cool bottle. And of course we have the weird shape of the bottle like that. And on the bottom we obviously have nothing. And on the top we have a black black cap. So caffeine content is 13 milligrams per 100 ml. So again, is the average. It contains the usual vitamins, niacin, panophenic acid, vitamin B6 and B12. Each bottle contains at least 100% of these B vitamins RIs recommended intake. Now even though it says sugar free, it says less than 0.5 grams. So technically, technically speaking, it has got sugar in it, but it's pretty much, like I said, less than 0.5. But interesting how they put less than 0.5, but not, say, less than 0.2, or it's got 0.1. You know what I mean? That's very interesting. They, they put 0.5 there, so it clearly does have the slightest bit of sugar in it, but I don't, I'm not sure that may be naturally occurring, but we'll never know. Uh, let's see what sweeteners it has, because it is sugar-free. So... Uh, it, it it has a pseudo K and it does have a spy tame, unfortunately, but oh well. Apart from that, it's got seven percent of your RI of salt, which is always interesting with salt. But anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. I got a feeling it's going to taste of a standard energy drink. I got a feeling it's going to be the same color and smell like a standard energy drink. Hopefully, it doesn't explode over me. Should be alright. There we are. Oops, almost freaking come out. So it is fizzy, but not as really, really, not hardly fizzy at all as you can see. It's just pretty much non existent fizzy. No bubbles whatsoever. Um, don't know why. The colour is more of a brighter yellowy uh, colour, colour rather than the standard orange, you know, orange apple colour. Uh, definitely more on the brighter side. The smell. I smell of a uh, standard energy drink though, but again, just maybe a tad more on the lighter side. But nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. That does taste different straight away. That definitely tastes different. Ooh. There's definitely a big different flavour in there, guys. You could definitely notice the difference with this sugar-free. Normally I say full sugar is the same as sugar free, but with this, blimey, you can definitely tell. Whether that's good or bad thing though, I'm not sure. I think, I'm not sure, it definitely tastes of a different, like a different fruit flavour, but I'm not too sure which. It, it's almost like a weird fruit flavour and then with... With like a, like a like a weird energy flavor, if that makes sense. In it, it's definitely definitely something more interesting than this one. But I mean, is it nice though? I mean, I'm not sure. Hmm, I'm not sure. That is it is an odd one. That is that's very interesting for sugar free. Don't get that too much. You know, guys, I'm gonna give it in the middle. I'm gonna be honest because it's not. It's not that nice where I drink, I could down it like in one go, but it's not like, not nice. It's in the middle, it's a bit of a weird one, but uh, as always guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.